Hi guys, it's Rick Baxter here with Cost Control Software. Chances are you found this video because you're searching for a way to get better control of your bill of material and bill of material management. Let me show you uh, briefly what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm going to go into product design on the menu. Here's a sample of some of bill of materials and notice that the first one here does have an active version on it. Let's just go and edit that. I just want to be sure everybody's on the same page. So here is uh, the bill of material. This is for a part number uh, 1000 and it has a list of uh, components to it and of course each component you can click the view subassembly and drill down uh, directly here on the uh, bill of material into the various uh, sub components as many levels deep as you need to go but you'll notice I'm going to go back uh, you'll notice here there is a version uh, for this bill of material the current version is version 2 that's called the active version let's go take a look at these versions here's a list of them so version 2 with this starting date is the most is the current active version notice there is a, a v3 or version 3 for this bill of material that is status of new and I can just go in here and I say edit the bill of materials and if I want this to become the current bill of material I can simply come here and say change and certify it and make this the the current version so that's the problem many of you want more controls many of you have come to us and said wait a minute this is too wide open this lets anybody come in here and add a version you can say add a new version change it around and put it under development make changes to it swap out inventory items add inventory items basically it's free and open to make changes to your bill of materials and not everybody wants to be able to let uh, all the employees have access to this very important com component list of your bill of materials so for those of you that do want uh, basically much more control and management of the bill of materials I need to let you know that cost control software has come forward with a add-on that will enable you to uh, basically uh, manage the bill of material process and it's called engineering change management it is has three components to it change uh, notices requests and orders depending on the level of detail so if you want to start with a notice change the notice into a request and a request into a change order that's fine or you can just start directly I'm gonna click on change order start directly here with a uh, with a change order okay so it it basically is a front end the, this software is a front end to the um, bill of materials let's go just take a look I'm just going to explore a little bit here with the bill of materials and we give you a couple examples so here's a uh, change order number one and it is swap hub assembly and basically I'm the uh, created by and it has an effective date of when it's uh, to take place so I can set that up here and then it is set currently for what is called a multi bomb mode I could change just one bill of materials which is be unchecking this or if I check this then I can change multiple bill of materials so we even go beyond just certifying and uncertifying one existing uh, version we allow you to change multiple versions again all through the engineering change order and uh, control process okay so a couple things I'm going to point out here first of all for you to be able to apply this okay um, you can create a new bomb version and you can recertify the bomb by checking these uh, indicators here you can also send this out for approval 
So we have a full approval process. I'm not going to be able to demonstrate that here in this kind of introduction video, but I'd certainly be glad to if you give me a call and be glad to show you the approval process. And basically it's, it's using the, the uh, standard NAV workflow and approval system to uh, send uh, uh, requests to the various approvers uh, to look at this document and approve the changes before we carry them out. So here is the option to carry out the ECM actions. These are the actions down here in the uh, in this subform. And in this example, this is actually a fairly good example, I've got a removal of uh, three items from different bills of material because this is a multi mode. So I'm basically removing the front wheel from <clears throat> oh no I'm sorry I'm moving the uh, the affected item is the uh, tube 1170 from this production bill of material from the back wheel I'm moving removing the tube and from this finished good I'm removing the tube probably when this was uh, entered there was an action here that actually says okay uh, well let's just look at this one here's a change so here I'm changing this part so think of this uh, in this case it's tube uh, tire uh, for a lamp so I'm switching it's a swap product A for product B and it's basically goes through when you go and get the finished good items it does a where used and goes and looks for all the places where that particular item is uh, used it shows you the bill of material number and then here to the right you'll see uh, the uh, swap think of it as a swap I'm swapping part a for part B uh, that's listed in your window here let me see if I can widen this out just a little bit there we go okay so here shows uh, the tire is being uh, swapped and the substitute item is the 1500 lamp so you can just uh, control all of that as well as even specify that I want to add uh, a brake uh, for this brake item I want to add a hinge a 70200 so you can actually go in there and make uh, multiple changes it's um, we've expanded this software uh, initially when this software first came out it was only to change one bill of material now it will allow you to go through and look at multiple bills of material and make multiple changes many of our customers have two or three hundred bill of materials and you don't want to have to do one at a time that just takes uh, too long so we created this functionality so that you can uh, specify in this uh, subform uh, the items that you want to change, the items you want to add, or the items you want to m remove, and then you carry out those those individual actions. So I hope you like this concept of uh, change management. Of course, once you do carry that out, it is going to uh, create new bill of materials, not just one, but multiple uh, bill of materials, and recertify those bill of materials with this um, a predefined effectivity date uh, on those bills and it it just uh, is a great way to really add that control across multiple bills of materials um, within within your NAV software I hope you like uh, what you're seeing here and if you would like a full demonstration um, to see it in action uh, just uh, look at the link below and uh, give us a call or uh, send us an email and we'd be glad to uh, set up a full presentation. Thanks so much.